Hello, welcome back. Uh, Sensor Mox heads, some site searching. Uh, all specs found a few in Jack. Thunder Oak, Mirror Lake. Thunder Oak for an Ur gem, Mirror Lake for an Ur gem, two water gems, and lets you recruit Illusionists, which is pretty cool. Um, again, though, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to lab it, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, Battle in Haunted Woods. Sent some ox heads into a PD province. Were they successful? Yes, they were very successful. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so we took out the province between um, the fort and the fort. That's good. Infiltrations, uh, and then, this is very rude. A boy Rexy attacked us in Goita. So it's a little uh, raiding force. A couple of sacreds, a few furbolg. Some PD here. They take that, no problems. Uh, no losses. So yeah. So Bobby saw me here about to have a fight with um, Citrani and decided to just take my retreat route. Which is very rude. Uh, it's also my current retreat route, I think, because we wouldn't be able to get through the pass here. Uh, yeah. Also spider battle in... oops. Also spider battle in Elkland. Uh, this was a weird one. So we've got Carnage, the ghost champion. Pretty cool thug. Has some difficulty with uh, mechanical militia. Uh, but besides that, he does okay. Uh, he takes it in the end. And also a battle in Obsidian Waste. So this is my big army moving on to Abobia's Fort. Isn't it great? There's just some PD here. Do you know what's really funny in this battle? We lay down so much Twist Fate. Like, so much Twist Fate. There's like a billion casts of Twist Fate. There's even lingering versions of Twist Fate. And in spite of that, a random archer still manages <laughs> to just kill one of my mages. Um, great stuff. Other than that, though, uh, these guys just get wrecked by Astral Spells. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Um, there's Obsidian Waste. Yeah, I lost a, uh, a middle mage, in fact. Random arrow. Oh well. Uh, events, good ones. Uh, we got the pearls from our global. 17 this turn. Embracer, bunch of gems, a little bit of gold. Adderall, bunch of gems. That's quite nice. Uh, fort, fort in Obsidian Waste is open, and at long last, we've got our national hero. Here he is. D3, S3, and E1 on top. He comes with an Earth Elemental at his side, uh, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, he lets us get some Earth stuff more easily than Tom does, since with a staff this guy will be death 4. We could also try um, twice spawning this guy and suiciding him and see if he gets plus 1 death, I suppose. Might be worth doing. Ah uh, yeah, but that's it for messages. Uh, and this turn, uh, still doing the usual forging. I'm teleporting a few mages around. There's some mages teleporting down here. There's one teleporting to join this stack. Um, but the only thing that's happening really is I'm just going to uh, storm the castle with a priest. Just to see what's inside it. Thought I might as well play it safe. Since um, we don't have a, a retreat route if things go wrong. And while that's happening, I'm just going to have Rotten Tom send some Ox Heads into this army in Goita. And then it's going to get attacked by a couple of chariots and stuff. I'm hoping that the Ox Heads will just kill these guys. And there won't be anything here. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Uh, down here I have been assembling a little army. There's some units building up. Uh, and there's some mages building up as well. I did have this mage here waiting to join the army, but he's now going to teleport to join these guys instead. Uh, which is fine. I'm going to te teleport a different S3 mage down to uh, join these guys instead. Um, don't have any in our cap yet. There's one in this province, so he's teleporting. He's a bit far away, though. You can only teleport to Kurgnir at the moment. 
but uh, he's who's going there. Will we get a mage next turn? No, we've just got one queued up at the moment. Uh, the big mage that we just recruited is going to lead some sacreds out. That's fine, he's going to lead sacreds down to this region where they're a bit more useful. And I think that's pretty much it for this turn. Um, we've got the temple here now. One thing that's worth probably picking up is uh, mercs, because no one's been bidding on them for a while. So some of them are probably getting quite cheap. Sappers 146, God Justice 292, Refreeze 108, uh, Master Gibo 29. Um, I don't even know who that is, but we can bid on him, why not? Only 59 gold, <laughs> let's see what he does. Uh, but that's it for this turn. So I will leave it there. And hopefully next time we can have a, um, well, we can storm a fort. And then the turn after we'll get to see it. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next turn. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I did this turn yesterday, but I didn't have time to record it, so I might have to catch up on a few things myself here. Well, let's go through it. Did some site searching. Don't remember if we were successful anywhere, but uh, Bronze Pillar and Ogwoods. I think that's a fire gem. Uh, and that's all. Uh, cast Ox heads at Aita. I was hoping these guys would kill this little army, but they don't. I guess they're a bit tougher than I thought. Did we even kill any of those guys? Um... The one sacred, okay. Not great. Uh, more infiltrations. Took control of Haunted Woods, that's the one we um, hit the other turn. Battling Goita. So, after we sent the Oxheads in, we sent in a couple of uh, Tramplers. There's only one point of PD here, so it's fine. Cool watching the Tramplers, though. There we go. Took Goita back. Uh, he then moved into Chilad with that army. The little mountain province where I had the um, ballistic animate. There's Chilad. Uh, killed two sacreds. Uh, we also got attacked in Sofecti. We got attacked by uh, Zatapek, unfortunately. This army's pretty interesting, though, because it's mostly corpse constructs who are mindless. So if we start spamming um, Soul Slay and the big AoE Soul Slay that I can't remember the name of, uh, it's only going to prioritize the actual units. Probably get these guys first, because there's more of them on a square. We've got seven magic resistance, so these guys will pop quickly. And then we'll immediately just start hammering the mages and things, I think. Um, so a bunch of units we can't target is pretty useful. Because these guys are trash anyway. They'll just... Um... Have I seen your bless before? Uh, okay, that's a big bless. Precision, poison res, defense, HV, combat speed, farcaster, inspirational, and leadership. Nothing too scary, though. Yeah, the corpse construct should just die. And we'll be able to put our stuff really far back from uh, evocations. Does any stuff die there? Oh, five comet corpses. Okay, they're a bit tougher than I thought. But even so, it should be fine. Uh, also, a battle at the fortress in Obsidian Waste. So I stormed this with a priest just to see what's inside. Uh, not much. It's about ten mages, I think it was. Um, mostly fur bogs, a couple of sacreds. I don't think the sacreds will be too bad. They have a very high defense value. This guys have a bit of experience though. Um, so they're kind of hard to hit, but their magic resistance isn't great. So it should go okay. Let's see. Events then. Camatan, we got 20 pulls from the global this turn. Unrest in Edoral. Uh, Lupia, spiders from the woods have attacked in numbers. They're led by a gibbering troll. Uh, Yellow Mountains. Also, we lost. People are tired of your oppressive rule. And Centania, we gained some population. Uh, yeah, so we lost Lupia to some spiders. This is adjacent to the Throne of Death. 
have a troll shaman. A bunch of spiders. It's a bit awkward. Uh, yeah. So there's the Lupia. And we also lost Yellow Mountains too. That's a bit of an awkward turn for that to happen, huh? We need to take those back at some point. Uh, Fortress and Obsidian Waste is still open. Storming at this turn. Uh, and that's it for messages. Okay, so up here is the Zatapex deck. I'm not too scared of it. Pretty sure this stuff is all he has on my continent as well. My continent? My... <laughs> whatever, this landmass. Um, so I'm just going to move a bunch of stuff to Kamatan and Edril, and then we'll merge it up into an army that I think will be fine. It's hard to show it off because there's, there's like stuff in Ogwards, a bunch of units, all the mages here are just going to move out. Why not? Uh, we've got this guy who had some sacreds. He'll move back to Kamatan, pick up some items. Uh, a couple of mages here. Some more sacreds. Bring some this turn. We can assemble a pretty big army in two turns. Uh, I'm also forging another banner of the Northern Star to go with it. And then we'll just try and catch this army, and I, I think it'll be fine. Uh, the harpy things? What are these black harpies? I've given them to the Woodhenge Druid here. Stealthy leader with a stealthy army. Uh, that'll be nice for just taking back provinces, I think. Just fly onto commanders in PD. It should be okay, I'm not sure. Uh, still got magic items getting forged. Down here we're going to storm the fortress in Obsidian Waste this turn. Uh, army's mostly the same. There's another mage that got teleported here. Not sure where in the list is going to be. Right at the bottom, nice. Didn't name him. He's doing confused mob every turn. Uh, this is AoE 18 confusion. Be pretty interesting. So we'll have one guy doing mass mental burn every turn, and one guy doing a big confusion every turn, in addition to all the usual soul slays and soul sunderings. So hopefully that goes well. I guess we'll we'll see. Um, I think the bulk of a boy Beer's army is in this fort, so we take this. Yeah, <laughs> it should fall over pretty quickly. I'm not sure. Uh, we're about three turns away from Thamaturgy 8 now. Because we're moving out so many mages, but that's okay. Uh, down here looks like a Boybeer actually bought all of the mercenaries. Uh, they're in Dovin. So I'm going to assemble an army in Centania. Mostly just some units. We've got a couple of mages that can do... One's just going to spam a mass mental burn. A couple of guys are going to do soul sunderings. And that's mostly just units walking forwards. PD here is Cataphrax, four of them. A couple of light cav. Um, let's see if he moves there though. He might try and move, merge these things onto this fort. Oh, he can't move from there to this fort. This army actually can't go anywhere without trying to siege one of my <laughs> fortresses. Maybe I should have put the PD up and made people patrol. I didn't really think about that. Uh, yeah, it can only go to one of these two places unless it goes backwards. Well, this turn's already been submitted, so yeah, this is just what happened. We moved stuff to Centennia. We kind of ignored this for now. Uh, Rotten Tom's going to move to Kurgnir to take advantage of the Ritual Range site. And that's about it. Not forging anything else too interesting. Uh, no one else has sent me pearls, so I guess since Zatapek is now attacking me, I guess, you know, dispelling mechanical militia, mechanical militia doesn't seem uh, like it's my problem anymore, so... We'll forget that. Oh, last thing to remember while I see it. Haunted Woods, great province, has a great gold mine for 100 gold. Um, so that's a nice little addition. It's half as good as the throne we wanted. So there we are. Uh, but that was turn... I don't know what turn it was, hang on. <laughs> that was turn... 50? Nice. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, welcome back. I uh, did some site searching. We found Canyon of Wild Winds, Urgem, Drake Caverns, and Battlefield, Death Gem in Kizia. Did other infiltrations, retook Chilad, no defense there. A uh, couple of battles then. Zatapex army moved to Dathan. So we can just see this again. Uh, we got monkeys, we got corpse constructs, a bunch of communion slaves, being in the middle. Uh, he does that big spell. So that is 
something of the desert. Curse of the desert, and it puts this on you. Makes you desiccated. Take 2d8 points of fatigue every round until you make a difficult MR roll. The spell itself is MR negates easily though, so it doesn't stick very many people. A bit like Curse of Stones, I suppose. Um, some of his communion slaves do die. I forgot to check. Ow. Um, <laughs> three of them. I don't know, maybe it's just an overloaded communion. Uh, Reaper of Ruin got 79 kills though. I think that was with the big, um, the falling frost thing that falls out of the sky. Three battles then, Aboibia um, taking provinces off us. Moved a li the little stack onto Kergnia, uh, Haunted Woods, and our Caverns. There was a battle at the Fortress in Obsidian Wastes. I'll look at the map in a moment. There's my army. Doing the buffs and the communions. The Boibia's army. Do lots of um, soul slays. Big soul slay. There's the mass metal burn. Uh, there's a bit of damage. We put Howl up as well. Uh, the big glittering cloud is confusion, so a lot of these guys get used as well. Another mass metal burn. Yeah, things are basically just walking into the gate and dying immediately. Uh, that's pretty good. There's the Battle of the Fortress. Uh, we found a Knife of the Damned, an Alquil, Blackbow Botolf. Killed 155 things. We lost 20 Sacreds, 15 Halberdiers, gained 5 Furbolg. Ah uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, not too bad. Here's the map. So he moved his little units onto these provinces, took this back, which is unfortunate. It's the gold mine. Uh, but we captured Obsidian Waste. Events. Uh, lost lands, 22 pearls from the global. Drek, Vengeful Crone cursed the land. Sea Dogs attack Nethermark. Unrest in Summer Bay. Uh, extensive bureaucracy in Summer Bay. Which one's that? Hmm. Uh, deadly disease spreading in Ivermark. Yeah. Uh, we got someone in the Hall of Fame. Ah, Zest. Now heroically quick. So, things feel like they're going well. Um, you may notice if you're very keen-eyed that our economy has tanked this turn. We are down to 2,364 gold a turn. Now, admittedly, we do have Kogner and Drek Caverns under siege. Um, but remember a few turns ago when I told you what uh, Zatapex's plan was for Lilifors? Uh, looks like that's being now inflicted on us. Uh, White Waste 31 Unrest, A for us 19, Summer Bay 58. Hmm, Kamatan 32 Unrest. Probably need to patrol some stuff out of there, huh? And even Edderall 16 Unrest, 13 in Nethermark. Yeah, it's not great. Pretty bad. Um, we have the um, Zatapekian army and death in this turn. Every single thing in this army is amphibious, with the exception of the monkeys. So I'm really worried this army is just going to go underwater now and burn down all my temples, which would be a bit frustrating. Uh, but since I can't do anything about that, I'm going to just defend the other two provinces that it can move into. Um, so it could go to Summer Bay or it could go to Ivermark. Ivermark, the whole army that just took Obsidian Waste can actually move straight to Ivermark, with the exception of our diminutive Fire Lord. Yeah, unfortunately he can't move that far. I took his items off him and gave them to this Dominion the Fire Lord instead. Who is joining the army assembling in Summer Bay. 
So it's the same sort of thing. It's a bunch of slaves. The middle mages do cheated fate fortune and then just spam soul slay as much as they can. The little mages do communion slave. And then the big mages, all well, these guys, uh, desiccated warriors, focusing pyre, free diverted fate, and then soul sundering. This guy's just going quickly into soul sundering. Um, this guy's, this is the fire mage, advanced phoenix power, AoE 15 phoenix power. Just in case somehow that doesn't hit himself. Um, he's also going to cast the individual one, then he'll do the um, battlefield wide magic resistance. Um, advanced Paragoya, entire battlefield gets bonus nature magic, then howl. Uh, this guy's doing confused mob. He's also skipping the first turn, so he's straight into soul sundering. Two confused mobs and then soul sundering again. And the death mage, I wasn't sure what to do with him exactly. Uh, the, by the way, I learned his magic resistance sucks, I didn't realise it was this bad. Uh, a base of 10. Got the shroud for a bit of a boost, but um... Yeah, not very good. Uh, he's just going to do Frostfend, which is plus 5 coal for the whole battlefield. And then try and do some soul sunderings eventually. He has to do the slow communion master spell. Um, so that's all moving to Summer Bay. There's some units here as well. Got some halberds, some ramplers, few archers, more halberds. And then about well, 139 sacreds. I should probably put some more people on Guard Commander because um, the Sami does cast a lot of Black Hawks. I might remember to do that. There are these things. Curse Bearing Black Hawks. Or oh, Curse Bearing Great Hawks. But I should probably put some more stuff on Guard Commander. That's the big um, falling spell, by the way. Also, um, the, the Fatigue spell, I just show it off this thing. Curse of the Desert, yeah. M1 negates easily, gives you the desiccation thing. Uh, down here, the army and obsidian waste is exactly the same, it's just going to move patrol to Ivermark. Ooh, I just remembered I haven't put new gems on this army yet. Uh, I should do that. Who needs gems? Well, that's another thing I'll fix after this. This guy probably needs gems? Oh no, he's fine. This guy definitely does. I'll, I'll go through this and make sure everyone has gems. But uh, yeah, um, that's the only real movements. Defend Summer Bay, move patrol Ivermark. Um, hopefully that resolves this. If it doesn't, if this army goes underwater, it sucks. Um, we're going to have to bulldoze straight through a boy beer uh, and then get at Zatapek, I think. Because, yeah, he's going to trash my entire economy, unfortunately. I'm not really sure why is the thing. <laughs> He isn't really going to gain anything out of doing this. This is my only throne. If he trashes my lands, my lands aren't even worth anything, so why...? I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but uh, that's what he's doing anyway. Uh, yeah, so we'll try and resolve this. Uh, moving the army that moved to Centania is going to try and knock the uh, mercenaries off to our caverns. Uh, the wall here is down to 37 of 250 because of the sapper mercenaries. Uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, Kurgnir is not taking any damage because it's too small, but I'm moving a bunch of stuff here to try and break siege. Some units and tramplers, a couple of mages. Uh, here's the Centania guys. Actually, these are the Centania guys. Um, so hopefully they are able to beat three mercenary companies? I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, and then next time we'll start moving stuff back down into a Boivia. It's very interesting to me that this is a Mycenaean province. I don't understand how or why, but is. Uh, that's the turn though. I was thinking maybe it would be worth trying to cast, this is very strange, um, Purgatory. I thought this hurt all undead, but it doesn't. It hurts hostile undead. So at a minimum it would clear out shades that are moving through my dominion. Wouldn't do anything about Lycos though, I don't think they're undead. I'll check that as well. Uh, another thing we could try casting is um, Lucky Omens. Might counteract the Lycos. Maybe both? Maybe put a Purgatory to do with the Shades and Lucky Omens to do with the Lycos. An idea. Uh, I'm not sure how good an idea it is. So yeah. I think the best plan is to just push straight into Zatapek as hard as possible, as quickly as possible. It looks like Chebnasu is actually warring uh, Lilifors, interestingly enough.
Uh, but that's a turn. I'm going to submit a partial, but I'll just go back and fix those little things. But uh, that was turn 51. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.